Okay, so everything right here is this whole thing is called an algebraic expression. This is the variable and this is called the constant. Sometimes we have a number that is attached to the variable. That would be called a coefficient. This is pretty important to remember. So uh, watching the video a couple times would be helpful and taking notes. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our original problem. X plus four equals 10. That is one type of problem we're gonna see. This means that they have something plus four equals 10. And like we just talked about, obviously that's six because we know something plus four equals 10, that would be a six, but we don't write it that way. So here's how we do it in algebra. If you follow these steps, algebra is gonna be super easy for you. So there are two sides of the equation. There's the side with the letter on it, and there is a side with the number on it. Well, our goal is to get all of the letters on one side and all of the numbers on the other side. So we have a problem. Here's our problem. We have a number on this side. So we have to get it over here, but you can't just move it over. The only way to get a number on the opposite side is to do the opposite of what they're doing. So they're adding four. So what's the opposite of addition? Subtraction. Yeah. So if they're adding four, we're going to subtract four. Now, the first rule is that we have letters on one side and numbers on the other side. The next rule is whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we do on the other side. So if I subtract four on this side, I have to subtract four on this side. Now, what I'm left with on this side is plus four minus four equals nothing, so I get to cross this out. And what is left on this side of the equation? Um, the x. Mm -hmm. So we rewrite the x. And then you, you should probably be writing this down. It would be helpful. Um, and then what is 10 minus 4? Um, 6. Yep. And we knew that answer, right? But this is how we show it in algebra. So this is the process. We first write the equation out. We do the opposite of what they're doing to get letters on one side and numbers on the other. And then we solve the problem. So it has to look like this exactly every single time. Okay, the next type of problem is similar. It is when they're subtracting. So we still have our same goal, letters on one side and numbers on the other side. So I need to get my minus four over to the other side and we know that our second rule is the only way to move something over to the other side is to do the opposite. So they are subtracting four. What do I need to do to my four? Add. Mm -hmm. And then my other rule is whatever I do to one side of the equation and the equal sign, I have to do to the other side. So I'm gonna add four on this side. The next step is to cross out the numbers. What's left on this side is x, and then we solve 10 plus four. 14. So x equals 14. So I'm gonna have you do x plus 10 equals 12. We, are, we, we already know it's two, but lead me through the process. So what is my first step? Um, 
first you subtract 10 mm -hmm. from it and that um and then it equals 12. So my first rule is we have to get our numbers on this side, so we did that. My second rule is whatever I do to one side of the equation. We have to do the other. Exactly, so I have to subtract 10 on this side. Now I cross this out. And now what do I do? Um, and then you, you add, wait. Yeah. So what do I do to this side of the equation? Um, what's left on this side? The x. Mm -hmm. So I write my x and then I can solve my problem. My problem. It's, 12, it's two. Yep. All right, let's try one of the other ones. X plus two equals 26. So what is my first step? We subtract two. And then you also do that on the other side. Yep. And then what do I do? Bring down the X. Yep. And then subtract, and it's 24. That's it. So that's the basics of algebra. That's an easy problem. It's not easy when you first do it, but that is a, the simplest type of problem that we have. So we'll just leave it there. Do you have any questions before I stop the video? No. Okay, awesome. It's kind of fun if you think about it like a puzzle. So if you think of it like it's a question mark and you're filling in, then it doesn't have to be like, oh my gosh, algebra is crazy. But a lot of people think algebra is crazy. But we just, um, we do that same exact process no matter how hard the problem.